I, I like to work big because I like to work on my whole body. I like to put my whole body into it. When you, you make a movement, a gesture that's, that uses your, your entire body, I mean, that's, it, uh, you can invoke uh, uh, energy, you can invoke you know, movement, and you could do it small too, but for me it works best if I'm, if I'm in it. You know. Inspired by chance and spontaneity, artist James Fischetti's process of painting is a direct reflection of the way he lives his life. I like surprise, you know. I like, I love not knowing what's going to happen next, not knowing what's around the next corner. It's not uh, something that's thought ahead of time. There's no preliminary sketches. There's no real driving force, you know, other than being part of the world, you know. I'm, 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 I'm super thankful and we're spinning around in the universe here. And I mean, come on, yeah, that's, I don't know why anybody needs anything more. It's fantastic. I'm trying to connect with something that doesn't exist yet, you know, so you just, yeah, I think you have to work with chance and you have to work with a natural progression of what your body's telling you based on your, you know, your, your, your experiences in the world. So when my, my process could be spilling out some paint and seeing what that's dictating, what kind of shapes. It could be cutting up some photographs and some fabrics and arranging them, you know, haphazardly to see if something's, you know, speaking to me and there's a variety of, of ways and, you know, that's part of it, is really trying to find new ways to get this trigger to happen. I really don't have any limitations on mediums at all. I use any material that I can, that appeals to me, anything. If I see something I like, I try and, you know, incorporate it in, into the work. What's developed over time is a, a style that is many styles. That's what it came to. I try to work with my nervous system the best way I can. If that dictates a certain area I want to jump into at that moment, I, I do it. I'm willing to go. I'm willing to jump in to the void. But I develop these techniques over time to create strategies while I'm, you know, on my way down there, you know, to figure out a way to, to, to you know, not just get completely lost. Very often I can come to a result in a painting that works, meaning it has all the formal elements that makes it a successful painting composition-wise and balance and so on and so forth, but 99% of the time it's not enough. I usually need to, I call like, I say I need to plug it in, you know, I need to give it energy and usually that's doing something drastic that could bring it to its end. Very often people look at the body of work and they're very surprised to see the same person did these seemingly varied uh, you know, styles. But um, if I did it already, I don't want to do it again. I already, I've been there. I need to take it somewhere else. If somebody could look at the work and even in the slightest way change their perception on how they, how they see things, just the slightest way is good enough, you know, and if you can push more and more toward that, if you can have an effect on people to allow them to wake up, you know, I think there's people are walking around in a sleeping state, you know, and they need that. They need, like, you know, they need a little spark, something to say, hey, wait a minute, you know, I never would have thought about that before, you know. It's the best thing you can do. I, you know, I, I, don't, I don't see why anybody else would want to do anything else. If I can help some people, uh, that's, that's what I'm interested in. And, I'm tr and that's part of the work. I think of, I guess, the dual personalities that we all have. You know, our subconscious is always talking to us. When we sleep, when we dream, it's trying to tell us things, you know, and I'm trying to tap that. It's, I don't know, it's impossible. I'm trying to do something that's impossible. And the, the trying is what creates the energy, it what creates the, the, uh, the exploration, you know. And that's what it's about. So the paintings are never an end in themselves. The paintings are just a vehicle to get to the next painting, you know, to get to the next idea, to go. It's never going to end. There's no goal. There's no, uh, there's no final destination. Or maybe there is. That would be amazing. You know, and all of a sudden you say, oh, wow, you know, we, we, this is what it was all for. But it's probably not going to happen. But you keep going, you know.